I'm Casey Hudson. I'm the executive producer for Mass Effect 2. And we're here showing a DLC pack called Overlord. And it's coming out in uh, June. Overlord is its actually our biggest downloadable content pack for Mass Effect 2 yet. Uh, it's about two to two and a half hours of gameplay. It's actually bigger than we uh, intended it to be. Um, so there's a lot of value there. Um, we have a whole bunch of different locations. And it's basically all under one storyline, which is that uh, a Cerberus scientist has been working on uh, uh, Geth technology. And he's used his brother as a research subject. And he's trying to get his brother's brain to kind of communicate with the Geth hive mind. And the result is an incredibly powerful AI that he's lost control of. And now all of the outposts on this planet are infected with this AI that's wreaking havoc and is trying to beam itself off of the world. So uh, as Commander Shepard, you're trying to figure out where this AI is located and you're, you're flying around the planet in the new Hammerhead vehicle, going to these outposts, trying to lock it down, and ultimately you want to destroy the AI. But there's still a human being at the heart of it somewhere, and so there's a choice to make also about what you would do with this person when you find them. The missions are uh, quite a diverse set of gameplay. Um, ultimately, it is kind of a horror experience. Um, you're going around these bases that are dark and there's flickering lights and lots of dead people who've you know, uh, been victims of this AI. Um, but uh, there's a lot of different gameplay in here than people have ever seen before from Mass Effect. Um, we're bringing back the vehicle that we kind of tested out with the Firewalker pack. It's called the Hammerhead and um, it's much more maneuverable than the Mako was from Mass Effect 1. But we're also building levels for it that are, uh, I think, more fun and, and a lot richer. Um, the one vehicle level is actually kind of a world map for this, this, this pack. Um, so you fly all around the surface of this planet. There's trees, there's grass, there's cows and birds and, and all kinds of amazing kind of richness to this world. Um, and a huge location for you to explore and find these other locations to go in. But then we have those missions that are actually uh, interior missions where it's, it gets dark and scary and you're kind of being played with by this AI. Um, but there's, there's a real diverse set of things. Ultimately, you know, you're even kind of pulled into a virtual world where everything that you see is kind of the way the AI sees things. So there's a lot of really unique aspects of the gameplay in the Overlord pack. There's going to be no new items and weapons in this. It really is kind of moving towards a focus on new story content for players. Um, so a lot of people have been asking for, you know, just more story. You know, I want to be able to do more with my Commander Shepard. Um, and so we've had some uh, packs like the Equalizer pack that uh, you can get new uh, helmets and things like that for your character. And then now you can take these into a pack like Overlord and use them. You can even use this as part of uh, you know, developing experience and building up your character in preparation for the end of the Mass Effect 2 storyline if you want to use it to kind of contribute towards a new playthrough. Overlord's coming out in uh, June and it's going to be on Xbox and PC.